And this video explains how to set up your check-in station to use the fingerprint reader as the authentication mechanism for most people but still allow uh, a bypass option where folks can use uh, two numbers a person ID number and a password to uh, check in or out so we'll begin by going to the options on your check-in that's double clicking anywhere in the border area that will bring up the options button that we can select here we'll want to make sure we're selected on fingerprint and also we want to allow bypass. Uh, you could require the password but if you use a person ID a password would be required anyway. If you check this box it means that in combination with a fingerprint they would also need to put in a password in addition to the fingerprint. If this is unchecked they could use just their fingerprint. So we'll leave that checked for simplicity exit from that screen. Now the person who is going to register and bypass would need to come to the system and register. They click on the register button. You would have already issued them a temporary registration number from within ProCare in general and then they would come to the screen here enter in that six digit temporary registration number. We've got one here for Charlotte Holmes and the system recognizes Charlotte Holmes. Uh, the system will prompt her to go ahead and put her finger on the fingerprint reader. At this point she would simply click next and on the next screen rather than putting her finger on the fingerprint reader she would like to bypass. So she clicks the bypass button and at this point she would put in on the next screen her person ID and that would be a complex number something other than 1234 or 1111 something like the last four of her social security or something she could easily remember and then click next now she'll be needing to put in her passcode the passcode would be a different number similar to the first in that it's a complex number maybe the last four of her phone number something like that so she has a person ID followed by a password once she's done that correctly she'll get this message and then she can come to the check-in station click start here when she sees this screen where it says place your finger she can simply click on bypass and put in her person ID number followed by her passcode number and then she'll be given her kids to check in and out we'll select both of her children to check in click on finish and she'll see that she completed successfully the check-in and out process. And then the next person simply comes along and does the same thing.